Ooh. <laughs> right. Let me just look at that again. It's just, yeah, eight months. Still eight. Eight. <laughs> Not changing? Not going down? Okay. So, eight months ago. Ah. Ah. Right, 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 right. Because I was, I was, I was like, I was doing, I had dinner plans. I had a point, appointment in. Oh, it's not nine. <laughs> okay. Okay, the fact I'm wearing this shirt right now is a little, it's a little funny, it's a little ironic. <laughs> we gotta laugh about it. So what's she promoting? <laughs> I could have had a baby by now. I could have had a baby by now. And, well, I kind of, did. I'm not I'm not huge on calling a piece of art your my baby or something you've created that's not a human calling it your baby. Um but at this point I'm allowed to tell you that my sophomore album is coming out on September 15th and that's what I've been working on for 8 months plus. And it takes time and it was my priority and I just truly didn't have a lot to say other than that. And so here I am telling you that. And now we can maybe get back to doing this. I don't know. The album is called Wisecrack and it's coming out on Arts and Crafts. And I'm really proud of it. And you can pre-order it. <laughs> <laughs> and there's merch. And I'm going on tour. And these things are just unavoidable. And my song, a new single off the album is out today. <laughs> or whenever you're watching this. It's called Baby Teeth. And yeah, I'm truly not, I'm, I'm avoiding eye contact because I'm not used to staring into the, the camera is kind of, when you've not been doing it in a while, like that eye, it's like, the, the black void that's staring me in the eye right now is just like, <laughs> it's like, so I'm gonna avoid, <laughs> Blink or something, you know? Jesus Christ. I'm, be I'm being ju I'm being judged. Okay, yeah. My album Wise Crack is out on September 15th. <laughs> this is kind of for real. And I actually told you the title and the entire track list a long time ago. Uh, Bold of me to assume I could pull a Taylor Swift move like this and have anyone catch on. <laughs> it was mostly for me and my satisfaction. But the Survivor's Guilt video is, uh, it's got everything you need in there. And I'm not gonna dissect it right now because I think I need to warm up into whatever's happening here. And I don't know how much longer I can talk at this thing. Carl, I'm gonna call him Carl. This says, I've just noticed that my camera says Carl. Carl, please cut, cut me some slack. I've been busy scheming and planting clues that I don't expect anyone to get. I've been gardening a little bit, playing with my cat. Where is she? Oh my God. Are you joking? She's tuckered out. We literally played for like 13 seconds. She's exhausted. <laughs> Feel free to pre-order the album. Feel free to come see me on tour. I... I'm probably coming to a city near you. I don't know when I'm gonna be home again. 
And my new book is coming out on this Christmas. Yeah, that's about it. I, I literally don't do that in real life. I want you guys to know that. I don't, the second Carl turns on, I'm like, mm. hey guys. I just posted a TikTok and an Instagram back to back and I instinctively just like grabbed my camera. Whenever that happens, I do I do have the instinct to like start filming something and I never I never do. Um, but I'm giving into the urge. And the TikTok that I posted was pairing my songs with why come on. Come on. You can do this. Use the use that arm strength, babe. Make your bet. The TikTok that I posted was Fragrance pairing the songs, the singles that are out for the album, which was really fun for me because I'm a, a bit of a fragrance freak. I've touched on that super briefly in, in videos before, but I, I just wanted to like op just open that door and just let you like, and you can come in if you want. The door's open, water's great. Come in if you want, I just wanna let you know that. Just so we're all aware and we're on the same page. So you can watch that TikTok, or I was just gonna quickly show you the fragrance in which I paired two of the singles that are out for the album. I just wanted to reiterate it, reiterate it, because I thought it'd be fun. And maybe you can tell me in the comments if you agree or disagree, or if you have pairings that you that to you these songs feel more like that. So for coolest fucking bitch in town, I started by saying hallucinogenic pearl, which is like a beautiful musky suede, like floral. I'll say a lot of the same things I said in the TikTok, but this is Glossier U on steroids. It's very, it's a lot. Someone could spray it in the bathroom and I would be smelling it on my clothes over here in the bedroom. It's, the projection on this is crazy. This is a fall scent for me. I, I, I wouldn't do this in the summer or anything, any other time, just fall. It's very, it's just fall. But that's the scent memory that I have attached with it as well. But then I went on to say that coolest fucking bitch in town isn't actually a cool girl anthem. It's very, it's it's putting on a facade to try and be the cool girl. So what's more uh, salty like tears? And that's um, Cell Morant by James Healy. A salty seaside fragrance, but it's got funk. It's funky, it's low tide. A lot of people have s claimed that they smell like a fish essence to it and I really get that when I put it on my skin. You'll notice all these fragrances have a similar note to them and that's pink pepper and I realized that while doing this that I think I, I love pink pepper and famously pink pepper is found in Glossier U. I put this one for matchmaker because it's it's simple, it's effortless, it's an everyday thing, you know, it's a matchmaker is about my relationship, that's an everyday experience is <laughs> being in a, a committed relationship Something you work on every day, everyday scent. It's a stretch, but it, whatever. Just classic. It's a little bit sexy, a little bit romantic. I think it can it can work in all occasions. It's a basic bitch, but I, I, I love her. Survivor's Guilt, Baby Teeth. Two songs about the same things thematically. Nostalgia, the past, mourning things that you can never get back, your youth, people, pets. So I picked two fragrances that can work for either of these songs that that are less based on the notes, but you'll find they have pink pepper in them and they're more based on the memory. Like, I, I can't really distinguish what's in these other than what it transports me to when I smell them. So this is number two by Stories Parfum. And it is, I mean, immediately it is a very woody, spicy, fresh scent, but it just smells like the forest behind the house where I grew up and it just smells like my hometown. I can't describe it other than that. This is again a really fall scent. I couldn't imagine myself wearing it in the summer but maybe I should try because it smells like Halloween to me. It smells like there's like a there's something synthetic in this in the smell too but that could just be a memory like it smells like a Halloween mask <laughs> like some sort of latex but I don't think that's a no. I think it's more cedar and pink pepper and whatever. There's cardamom and ginger. It's just so familiar. I love, love this fragrance. The next is Squid by Zoologist, which I've gone through like 16,000 samples of this. I just need to bite the bullet and get a full bottle. This is one of my favorite scents of all time. It's creamy and oceanic, but 
above all it smells like a musty life jacket or a cabin it's just so I'm, I'm wearing it again there's like this kind of rubbery latex aspect to it I just I, it's addicting the lasting power on squid is crazy it may not be for everybody it's a pretty unique scent but I, I love it it's one of my favorite scents of all time this is probably a weird side, side note to have in a video announcing my second album but scent is very influential for me in in creating something i've been saying for a little bit i want to try and solidify this idea or like focus this idea that i have of writing a song that feels the way you feel when you smell something scent like just the sense of smell is just so amazing and and significant that I think I want to capture that in a song and I try to. Okay, yeah. Felt like sharing. No big deal. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Wisecrack is out September 15th. Thank you.